One teen was killed, two other men injured. The violence foreshadowing an upcoming meeting among local leaders focused on curbing crime. WJZ is live right now. Rachel Cardin has a message of urgency coming from people who heard those deadly shots. Rachel. And Rick, unfortunately, the neighbors we spoke to today were afraid to talk to us, scared because they say they know their neighborhood is going through yet another rough patch and they feel as though nobody cares. It's too much. And all we ask for is the mail from the city. From her porch, a mother weeps as investigators piece together a fatal shooting feet away. I got family and I live around here. So you don't know who's next. Last night before midnight, a 17-year-old was found on someone's porch. He'd been shot on Mayfield Avenue and later died. They came around here to get a body. But a day ago, we probably called, or called the police and told them about these young people off the hook. Come get them. They're gambling. They're getting high. Many of the residents who live on this street have been here for decades and say young people from other areas are the ones causing trouble. I can see that the people that walk through the neighborhood throw trash. Um, they don't respect the people that actually live in the neighborhood. This man said his mother heard the shots and knows a daycare operates right here. Said it was uh, about six shots and she just heard people running. Not even two hours later, two men were shot on Druid Hill Avenue. Both hit in the lower body, they're expected to recover. As residents seek change, they hope to work well with police, who they say they call often to report crime. They plea with the governor to address urgency when answering these calls. Again, that meeting with the governor is expected to happen with the police commissioner and the mayor sometime tomorrow around 3.30 here at the governor's office in the city of Baltimore. As soon as we have more details about that, we will bring them to you on air and on WJZ.com. For now, we're live in downtown Baltimore. I'm Rachel Curtin for WJZ.